on, you guys. Let's wait, you guys. So another one take review. It's your boy Big Dog back with a review for the Vinland Saga episode five, where they make it to this island. Well, not they make it to like shore. Ashkelon and his and his crew of I guess I guess they're mercenaries. You know what I'm saying they make it to wherever they're going and they and they sack a village. Like they they kill the people who live in the village. They rape the women. Uh, I don't. They, I, they, I don't know what happened to the children, but like Ashkelon said, he doesn't enjoy killing children. But I'm pretty sure the other members of his crew don't mind. And so, like that's that's pretty much what they did. They 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 like exactly. They made sure nobody was able to leave. I get they, they listen, man. They they I get it for what their what time this is, and you know what I'm saying the kind of people they are. It just kind of made me mad, and it was sad. And then. You see Thorfinn just looking as this stuff is happening. He can't do anything about it. There's literally nothing he can he can do. He was just starving. First of all, he's thirsty. He had just drunk some water, and then he see these people saying these people village. He just like I hate it, but like there's nothing he can do, and he wanted, and, and like he had an opportunity. I, would, I guess I would say an opportunity because he walked into Ascalad's ring. Ascalad's, I guess it's Ascalad, Ascalad, Ascalad. I think it's Ascalad. He walked into his room with a sword and was prepared to kill him. Well, I don't. Well, I can't even say he was prepared to kill him because he was asleep. Well, he thought he was asleep, and but he didn't. He didn't swing his sword. And either way, God felt like if he would have swung it. He would have got up, you know. He would have asked would have moved out the way because I, I, he feels sorry for for Thorfinn and in, in one way or another. Not, I think it was more or less because he respects Thor so much. They just like, hey man, I don't. Your dad was great. You're annoying, and like you can you can tell because he could have been killed. He could have been killed, Thorfinn. Like Thorfinn is just. He's a little kid, like, and he makes little kid decisions. Anybody else would be like, well, I'm not going to say anybody else. Um, somebody else older probably would have thought, like, I can't beat this guy right now. This guy is too scared of a fighter. You know what I'm saying? My dad is just like, was on another level. That's why he was able to best him. But like me, I'm a kid. I have to go train and go work hard, you know what I'm saying, until I'm able to go all strong enough to beat him. He called him out multiple times. First, he called him out with a sword. He realized, then uh, uh, Thorfinn realized, like, I can't use a sword. A sword is not my thing. You know, like, the dagger fits him better. And, you know, he started training with the dagger. He started just cutting cutting wood, yeah, killing rabbits, killed a wolf. You know what I'm saying? His first body, I think the first thing he probably actually killed in his life was that wolf. And he saw the blood on his hand. Because I think anybody's first kill, once you get that first kill out the way, I'm not going to say it comes easier, but it does get better. Uh, why do I sound like I've killed somebody before? That just sounds very weird. But, uh, <laughs> but like, I, you see, like, his progression after he killed the wolf. Like, it, it ain't like it much easier. He got to start to train him more. And then he challenged him again. Of course, he lost, you know, but because, like, he he's... He's a kid. Like, he's a kid, and he's going against a very, very skilled fighter. Uh, and so he's going, he's about to join his crew until like he does something great. And once he does something great, then then he'll uh, uh, ask a lot. Will will fight him. But my only prediction for the show, well, my only thing for the show is that I hope he don't get attached to him. I hope that, and I know this probably not good, but I hope that a hatred and like rage sticks with him throughout and like he he always has that toy escalate so and like even when he kills him because i know eventually he he must kill him like or or somebody else kills him and like take the death away from him and like so that, that drives him angry angrier but like i don't want him to like hey just because like he's traveling with this guy he's getting used to being around him so much that he ever forgets what his mission's about Regardless of if the, even if Ascalon saves him a few times, because he basically saved him now, he, he honestly kill him at any point in time. But like, I want him to keep that same hunger, that same fire that's in him, 
throughout this whole entire show or however long it is. I don't know exactly how long it's gonna be before they actually fight because Escalade, I mean not Escalade, Thorfinn is still a kid right now, you know what I'm saying? So you see like in, you you know uh, they're about gonna do like a time skip or something and he's gonna be older. So I'm looking forward to seeing like, when will it happen? If it'll happen this season, which I doubt it, but like I, I, I'm really interested because they still have to get the Vikings that paid to get, uh, well, put the head on Thor's. You know what I'm saying? So that that has to be like a mission for the kid. Like I don't know which one comes first. Uh, is it a uh, uh, Floki or Ascalon? You know what I'm saying? Which one? I don't know which one is in his mind. Even though I don't think he knows about Floki right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but I think over time, I still have been up to him like, hey man, those guys are the people who paid me to kill your father. And once again, and, and you can tell, and like another reason you can tell Thorfinn is just so young, he still don't realize his father's death isn't on the people, well, it's on them, you know what I'm saying? I still his crew, but it's on him for traveling, being too weak to defend himself. Putting himself in the way because he got captured and his father had to surrender. So you know what I'm saying. I, I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm in, I'm excited to see what 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 route this show takes. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but before that, uh, we got we went back to his family and we got to see like how they took the reaction and uh, Il Ilver, uh, Il Ilver, uh the daughter. You can tell like the whole time like. She was just working, keeping up, keeping her head down, just stuffed in her work. You could tell she was hurt, and I knew she was going to break down eventually. It just, I didn't know it was going to be this episode, but I liked that it was. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can get that out of the way. That like, hey, it hurts her, and now she just doesn't, she doesn't know what to do. Like her brother's gone, her father's gone, like, and it's crazy. But I, like I said, I'm enjoying. What this show is taking me so far, so um, and um, I'm, ex well, I'm, 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 I've enjoyed where it's taking me thus far in the five episode, and I'm even more excited to see where it takes me in the future once we see uh, uh, Thorfinn's get older. But uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I get to you guys later. Peace.